share that to all, and then I will be ready to go. Two more. That should do it. All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Wilhelm Starting. Today we are playing Spider-Man, Insomniac's Spider-Man. No, I will not call it Marvel's Spider-Man because aren't they fucking all? Anyway. Today's stream might end up uh, with a few more breaks than uh, usual, simply because uh, I'm having to do laundry for my mother, so. On that note, I've got to go and uh, cut something real quick. He's been testing new materials for the prosthetics. He asked me to review his work if I had time. May as well dig in now. And I'm back. Move, cat. This cord is not a toy. This cord is not a toy, cat. Jeez. Huh. Anyway. Peter, thank you again for doing these blind reviews. Peer review is the backbone of great science. You know, as we prep for the upcoming video, I felt an itch in the back of my brain. Is this really the best method of limb replacement? Silly, I know, but I keep thinking... Might there be another way? I don't know, Doc. That's a dangerous line of thinking. Doc was testing a new contact material for the prosthetic. Let's see. Yep. There we go. Hydrogel polymer composite. Strong, but there's a lot of impedance. Better tell Doc to keep looking for other materials. All right. I should get out of here before I screw things up for Doc even more. Fisk make it to Rikers yet? Not Rikers. 
Our boy qualifies for the VIP treatment. He's in the raft. Ah! Joining Scorpion, Electro, and the rest. This should be honored. It's a steam company. Can you swing by the precinct? Got an issue that could benefit from your unique skill set. For you, Yuri, anything. I'm on my way. Huh. Looks like Jameson's got a new episode out. Oh boy, you know, here we go. One fan thinks about the fist takedown. This is Just a Facts with J. Jonah Jameson, where listeners like you discuss the issues affecting our city with Pulitzer Prize More winning like alternative two facts. Two-time Pulitzer Prize winning former publisher of the Daily Bugle. Hey, close the book. And, and as always, if you order Mr. Jameson's book, Spider-Man, Threat or Menace, within 24 hours of our broadcast, you'll get an autographed copy at no extra charge. No personalizations, don't ask, not gonna get it. Welcome to Just the Facts with J. Jonah Jameson. Alerting you to the threats you don't even know about. Let's dive right into the cause. Me. Okay, so not for nothing. You gotta give Spider-Man respect for taking down Wilson Fist, right? I mean, one less mob boss is good for everyone. Is that right? Tell me, are you a police officer? Prosecutor? Maybe an award-winning reporter with decades on the job like me? Uh, no. I'm a plumber. Oh, good. Then fix my toilet and shut up! Let me explain something to you about crime bosses. As soon as Asshole. one goes down every punk with a gun, a track suit, and a drawer full of gold chains, decides he's the next godfather. We're gonna have a gang war on the street, but does that quick headed moron give a damn? Of course not. He got on TV. That's what counts. <laughs> yeah, well, I can get copper pipe without paying kickbacks. So, till that gang war starts, I'm on the webhead side. And you'll be singing a different tune when three new mobs are lining up to charge you triple for that same pipe. Or just break your legs. Goodbye! Someday, Jonah. I'm gonna get you to say something nice about me. Someday. Just the facts. <laughs> More like alternative facts. <laughs> God, I hate that that's an actual term that we have now. Ooh. Jeez. Oof. So scummy. I feel dirty just for using it. smoking. What do you tell people when you come up here? That I need a break from their crap. Fair enough. So, why'd you call? Need a date to the policeman's ball? You got a black and white suit? Uh... No ball this year anyway. We spent too much integrating Oscorp surveillance tech. Worth it though, right? It was. <laughs> till an hour ago. The system went down. Citywide. Every tower. How? They tell me someone sabotaged the central server, and now all the towers are offline. Hmm. Inside job? Maybe. We'll figure it out later. Right now, we need to get the towers back on. Fast. And you called me? Aw, that's sweet. I called someone I could trust. Plus, the signals are scrambled and we have no idea how to fix it. Ooh. I love a challenge. You break it, you buy it. I thought you trusted me. Let's take a look at this tower. Input bands have been shifted. Subtle. Oh yeah. We just had a tower come back online. Was that you? Not just a pretty mask, huh? Whatever you did, any chance you could do it to the other towers? Sure, but just so you know, I had to sync up with the tower to fix it. I'm seeing all crime data in the area now. Looks like there's a break-in happening near me. Great. I've got units nearby. Don't bother. I'm on it. All right, let's see here. Where? Oh, there. I see it. Here we go. Do it. Watch my back. Oh, come on, network error? Are you kidding me? Hey, hey, Yaravu. Forget their keys. But like the mini map or just the overall 
uh, visual grain. Ooh, that one, that one connected. Focus. Yeah, I figured it was mini map. Whew. Okay, wrapped up. Thanks for that. Now I'm seeing an assault near you. You're in luck, Yuri. Your favorite tough but lovable grizzled seen too much. To oh God, <laughs> Spider Cop. No, 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 no! You promised you wouldn't do that any. Spider Cop. Please no. Ah, yes. Oh, here we go. Got one. So you're the snitch. Back off, creep. Yep, she's the one. I said back off. Oh, sit straight up. Leave me alone. Keep it quiet, baby. Don't touch me. Get away from her. Oof, that one hurt. Ow. Hmm. Ow. Oh, come on. I'm off my game today. Shit. Walk away now. Let me go. Seriously. Yeah. Boom. That's concussion. All clear, ma'am. I knew Jameson was wrong about you. You're a little weird, but you got a good heart. Have you got somewhere to go? I can take care of myself. I'm sure you can, but just in case, there's a place called the Feast Center. Seen it. I don't want charity. They got the best wheat cakes in the city, hands down. Mom used to make those. I haven't had any in a long time. I'll check it out. Thanks, Spider Guy. It's Spider Man. Should be able to spot the next tower from up there. From his elevated position, Spider Cop spies his destination. A second surveillance tower. Are you narrating yourself? What? No, of course not. Thought he was a loose cannon. Already regretting this. can modify these towers to track more than just crops. There we go. Ah, yes, towers. Oh, hey! Score. Towers are picking up all kinds of RFID signals now, including one nearby. What is that? Sweet.
I'm there. Jeez. tracking dots to these. Wonder how many of these are scattered around the city. A menu from my first real date with MJ. Wish I could have afforded someplace fancier. But she didn't seem to mind. Aww. Oh, perfect. Still there? Got a robbery a few blocks away. Spider cops on it. Part man, part spider. Oh, cop. Uh. Easy. Oh, crud. More of them? Guys, if you work this hard at a legit job, you wouldn't need to be criminals. Get down, cat. All right, Yuri. I'm going to repair the last Chinatown tower now. Don't you mean spider cops going to repair it? Been doing a little thinking, Yuri. Policing's a young man's game. Spider cop? Well, he's no spring chicken. Please be going where I think you're going. As of today, Spider cop is officially retired. Oh, thank God. I need a drink. We'll all drink tonight, Yuri. Drink to the memory of Spider Cop's tireless. Yuri? <laughs> Yuri, you there? Such a dork. Guess the emotion of the moment overwhelms us. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh yeah. Ooh. Not good. Can't have people taking pictures of my three chest hairs. Tools I need for suit repair at the lab. Wonder if Dr. Octavius is left for the day. Fun Doc, fact. Oh. How did it go with the committee? I'm so sorry I screwed things up. Not at all, Peter. They're just nervous in the face of imminent trial. They'll calm down. They always do. Should I head back to the lab for cleanup? No, no. I'm stepping out for dinner anyhow. We'll resume tomorrow. Short break, then back to creating the future. Fun fact. Um, somebody... One of the, uh... He's left the lab for the day. Good time to work on my suit in private. Somebody actually did a close-up of one of the costumes, and, uh... Yeah, he li like that model literally has three chest hairs. Funny as hell. Oh, oh, look, another. 
Another piece of Spider-Man history. Right there. Down there. An Oscorp visitor badge from when I interviewed there. Would have paid well, but Dr. Octavius offered the chance to really make a difference. Hmm. Oh. There's some crime. There it is. Not so much that. Oh, great. Sovereign citizens. Fucking great. Sovereign citizens. <laughs> the worst kind of hippie. Like, most hippies aren't an issue. But the, we don't recognize your authority, man. We're citizens of the earth. <laughs> really? And how do you... Ex okay, so I guess you don't mind if some jackass shoots you in the face. I mean, clearly, you don't respect laws, so why should anybody else? Fuck, Wad. Seriously. And, uh, just so we're clear, that's not me advocating for any sort of crime without regards for the law. That's me talking shit about some of the worst shit heads around. That's all. Not my best soapbox moment, but whatever. Sorry, it's just sovereign citizens really piss me off. Ah, oh, jeez. Sorry guys, I gotta take a quick break. I think my mom's home. She might need some help. Be right back. Microphone popping in three, two, one.
right, I'm back. Uh, also, um, another fun fact. I know I'm full of them today. Uh, did y'all know that Michael Jackson, of all people, once tried to buy the rights to Spider-Man? Specifically so he could play him in the movies. <laughs> And now I'm Time I'm imagining, and now I'm imagining a Michael Jen, uh, Michael Jackson rendition of the Spider-Man theme. <laughs> it's too fucking hilarious. Trying to improve the prosthetics hardware. I should review what Doc's been developing and double check his work. Hmm. Octavius Industries. Hmm. Yeah, screw it, might as well. Doc was trying to improve the actuator's granularity. Too easy. Nice. Super smooth response. See if we can tune the prosthetic's grip force. Go. Should avoid bone crush. Interesting. Doc's hardwiring in a basic spatial mapping system. Nope, that is too much. Shit. Okay, yeah. Still have a sense of their surroundings now. Should help with body awareness. We need to tune the arm's gyro to auto orient. Oh, my bad. Hmm. Sweet. So I take it you didn't catch that fun fact then? So I said that uh, years ago, Michael Jackson, of all people, tried to buy the rights to Spider-Man so he could play him in the movies. And so, of course, I've got... Uh, so, of course, I have that little sound bite in my own head of uh, a Jackson rendition of the Spider-Man theme. And it's funny as hell. <laughs> Users maintain their yeah, I know, awareness. right? Power efficiency. Trying to lower the overall power consumption of the prosthetic. Yeah. Actual voltage is way too low, but. Nope, still too low. Hmm. Damn. Still not good enough. That's locked, that's locked. It's not gonna work. So I really do have to spiral it. Well, that sucks.
Wait, what? I had one of these sitting around? Well, shit, I don't need any of this extra crap then. There. Great. Way more efficient. And the I've rest are locked. So there we go. We really need to get better about organizing our workspace. I think we've got samples of every type of prosthetic in existence. The grant review was a debacle, yes, but it may also prove to be the inspiration I need. We can no longer simply meet the committee's expectations. We must exceed them. <laughs> it's amazing how quickly the prosthesis has evolved. I remember when our prototype used parts I ripped out of an old microwave. Yeah. Yep. Oh, and just a reminder, once I get a PS5, I will be streaming Cyberpunk 2077. Sorry, just the prosthetic, you know, reminded me. Because of course it did. It is a surprise just how many of Spider-Man's villains are father figures of one sort or another. Otto Octavius, Kurt Connors, Norman Osborn, and uh, whoever the fuck that one guy was. Yes, but it may also prove to be the inspiration I need. We can no longer simply meet the committee's expectations. We must exceed them. I'm half expecting there to be a storyline where it turns out Uncle Ben faked his death and has become the latest villain. I wouldn't be fucking surprised in the slightest. Although I would be kind of pissed. Uh... Yeah, sorry everyone. I'm gonna just mute so y'all don't have to sit through that. Dogs are being stupid. We'll be back in a few. Three, two, one...
And I'm back again. Dr. Octavius, I uh Hey Tug got there. Chinese. If I know you'd be here, I would Oh boy. Oh, just there we go. Project. Oh boy. Of course. It's you. Yeah, I, I don't know what oh, you're Oh, come on, Parker, it's obvious. Let, let, me let me explain. I only wish you'd tell me sooner. I wanted to. But I was afraid that if word got out, my family would be in danger. Oh. Yes. Uh, I guess if you design his equipment, you're bound to be a target, too. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry. Your secret's safe. Well, I'll leave you to it. Hmm. Huh. Check your email. Check your email. Huh. This is cool. Hope this isn't how Doc fires me. Hmm. Graduation. I feel so long ago. I interned for Doc in college. He made me realize I could do as much good for the world in a lab coat as I could in tights. Huh. Maybe more. Hmm. Peter, the revelation of your second job as Spider-Man suit crafter. Is that the right term? <clears throat> is a reminder of the good man and partner you are. No matter how hard you work, you still find time to help others. I hope you don't mind, but I noticed the suit was a bit damaged, and I took the liberty of sketching up some of my own improvements. Attached are a few ideas I had on how you could enhance his suit and help protect Spider-Man, who does so much for this city. Looking forward to the incredible work that we are doing and changing the world together. Your partner and friend. Hmm. White spider, huh? Hmm. According to Dr. Caria or Dr. Carla, softens so Dr. Carla Sofen's research, higher contrast leads to slower visual processing. Uh this should give your other employer a slight advantage in combat. See graph. Graphene core armored. Hmm. Neat. The advanced suit. And because uh, because I had originally pre-ordered it back in the day on my main account, as you can see, I've already got a few others unlocked. That should do it. Mm -hmm. This is so cool. The advanced suit. Nice. That is so cool. <laughs> nice. Come through. Hello, New York. <laughs> you suit the same old me. On that note, skills. Web slinger. Point launch boost, okay. Booyah. Woo! 
Ooh. <laughs> Oh. Spider-Man, I think I figured out how Fisk's men are keeping his rackets running. Construction sites. Wasn't that shut down when he was arrested? No, it's one of his legitimate. Oh. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Yuri, I'm at a Fisk construction uh, dogs site. are being knuckleheads. You aren't exactly constructed. What are they doing? I want to go find out. Huh, just got a text from Doc. Looks like he attached an idea for a Spidey gadget. Ew. And does he ever stop inventing? Heh. <laughs> Impact web, sweet. On that note. Shoots. Dogs. Wow. This looks like it could work. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. I can't read this. Should have brought my glasses. Boom. Ha <laughs> ha. Could be proud. So much for that. You were saying? like they called their buddies. Ooh! 
rocket launchers, really? Cheap. That had to hurt. Place is locked down, Captain. Actually, web down. And someone finally reported shots fired, so I've got officers inbound. Good work. Fifth kept more construction sites throughout the city, betting their fronts too. Keep an eye out and report in if you see anything suspicious. If I'm going to find all of Fisk's construction sites, I should recalibrate my mapping software to be more accurate. Using a depth map post-process on photos of popular landmarks should do it. And I know just the one to start with. Fun fact, uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales had to uh, uh, do away with the Chrysler building. I, I think it was the Chrysler building. Specifically because they couldn't renew the license to use uh, its likeness. Good old Empire State. Man, I love this town. Time to grab a snapshot. That'll do it. Map should be recalibrated now. I haven't done much photography since quitting the Bugle. Forgot how much I enjoy it. Should keep an eye out for more landmarks to shoot. Huh, it's Mr. Lee. Hello? Peter, it's Martin Lee. I just wanted to let you know we need a little extra time to get set for May's party. I guess the cake delivery is stuck in traffic. Oh, sure thing. Just let me know when you're ready and I'll swing by. Ha! <laughs> Great. Talk to you soon. Okay, got some time to kill. Let's see what's happening out in the city. Whoa. Oh, yeah. I might as well activate as many towers as I can, huh? Parker Luck, huh? Except as it turns out, Luck has nothing to do with it. And instead has everything to do with him basically overworking himself out of sheer remorse.
Hi, Mr. Lee. Hey, Peter. We're all set for the party whenever you're ready. Cool. I'm on my way. Oh, whoops. Got it. Got it. Gretch. It's almost. Alright, I've almost got the map for Greenwich complete. And if you ask a New Yorker, yes, it's pronounced Greenwich, apparently. Hey, we don't need you here right now, all right? Hey, Yuzu, how you doing? I've had a few interruptions this stream because, well, IRL is a thing. the financial district while I'm at it and then make my way back to Chinatown huh Fungi. Oof. Damn. Yeah, jeez. New York's noisy, but my mask can zero in on muffled sounds. The kind of tied up kidnap victim might make. Oop. I think we have a winner. So. Victim's gotta be nearby. Okay. Over here. Right here. Come on out. Stretch your legs. Oh, hey, Mode. But I'm just a bank teller. Oh, no. They're back. Of course they are. Oh, 
Ow. Well, so much for flawless. Yeah, Spider-Man 2 for the PS2. Yeah. That said, I can't wait for uh, Insomniac Spider-Man 2. But what, next year, year after? I know they're also working on a Wolverine game. The momentum's great. Watch this. Well, also, also, uh, pay attention to the to pay attention to the web. Look at that. Look at that web line. It actually anchors. Like each of these buildings is a physics object, and the web will actually anchor. Peter, good news. I think I smoothed things over with the Grand Committee. If Lance Corporal Texan was fitting tomorrow goes well, we should be okay. That's fantastic, Doc. We're back on track. Provisionally, as long as our little incident escaped the mayor's attention. You'll be at the fitting tomorrow? Definitely. It'll go great. We're gonna change the world, Doc. I'll settle for not starting any more fires. <laughs> See you tomorrow, Peter. Here's to a successful day. I mean, you're probably not wrong, Mode. I don't think I ever played that one, but... Hey, before you go... Can you oh, Jesus, yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah, the PS1 Spider-Man games? Jesus! Then again, those also gave us, you know, Symbiote Doc Ock. Which, you know, with the Carnage Symbiote? Fucking terrifying. Ooh. Also, uh, that game had the audacity to give us incendiary webbing. What's this? Oh shoot! Whew. Sorry about that. Oh boy! Oh, these. Just a little more. Oh, here we go. Jeez. That's everyone. Glad I was here to help. You're men, Spider-Man. Oh. I hope that. I hope that their insurance covers that. I mean, you gotta remember, he's also superhuman. So. I'm usually web swinging. Plus, you know, fall damage would, you know, would be a bit of a downer. So, I'd call that an acceptable break from reality. Ah. Uh, Let's see if I have any more. Oop. Oh, that's right, suits. Hmm. And we've got, of course, Spider Punk. Uh, we've got the Iron Spider suit. And then the Velocity suit, which they made specifically for this game.
Yeah, they do sound damn fun. Oh, wait, breaking's over that way. Whoops. Oh, geez, it's all the way up there? Wow. On PS5, this would have ray tracing and thus better reflections. No. Hey, an old fashioned B and E. Gotta love the classics. Oh, fuck. You guys don't look like locksmiths. They're done. Look at it this way. If I'd actually let you break in, you'd be going away for a lot longer. And <laughs> off the building. Yeah, fun fact though, uh usually I mean I don't see I don't see that one right now, but usually they'll stick to the building because he attached a web tether to the last second. But no, no that guy's uh that guy's definitely dead. That's fine. Combat's non-cannon. Motherfucker! I can't let him hurt that victim anymore. to hit me shit live by the beat down die by the beat down thanks I... i'll be okay oh this oh, fucker again rush heads they call themselves though uh, never quite understood why Will remember my warning about the downright Orwellian crime monitoring system the city was installed. It's not operating. Why? Because someone came to their senses and realized they'd be violating civil liberties? Wrong! Because those incompetent bureaucrats built a network that crashes more often than a wino driving a bumper car. So your tax dollars got wasted, and there's nothing to show for it. Which is about as close as you get. Happy ending in the real world, kids. Use these electrician's gloves in my first fight with Electro. Gave me the idea to add insulation to my costume. Which saved my bacon more than once. Huh. Yeah, uh, another idea that, uh, another idea brought forth by, uh, TFS in their Spider-Man Let's Play was... Uh, if they were to... No, I don't think that's actually J.K. Simmons. N not this time. But, uh, one, I, uh, one thing that TFS pointed out they wanted to see is if they could, you know, work something out with WB Games to use a variation of the Nemesis system. <laughs> not gonna lie, that'd be pretty fucking hilarious. <laughs> Just some fucking thug. We meet again, Spider-Man. <laughs> uh, it's like, I'm sorry, who are you? <laughs> anyway. 
Need to have a feast. And yes, I'm spamming the ping. No shit. Huh. This did keep these wannabe pushers oh. in check. Wait, okay, what's that feeling? Do I miss him? No. Oh. Uh, Yuzu, you say that, but that reminds me of this one bit from uh, the old Justice League cartoon. Uh, one episode. Lex Luthor actually switched bodies with the Flash. He pulls off his mask and he's like, I have no idea who this person is. <laughs> because really, I mean, really, what supervillain would even know who the fuck Wally West was? Which, that's the version we're talking about. Because, yeah, as far as anybody cares, Wally West... And it, it, like Wally West is just is comparatively a nobody. Barry Allen is a nobody. Where as far as you know, civilians and supervillains are concerned, besides their own rogues galleries. But everyone knows who Bruce Wayne is, and if you pay attention to uh, uh, if you pay attention to the news, you know who Clark Kent is because he won a fucking Pulitzer Prize. And, you know, if you're, if you're in the aviation field, you're probably going to catch wind of the name Hal Jordan sooner or later. Like, you get the idea. Like, there are certain ones. And also, if you pay attention to politics, you're not, like, you're going to know who Oliver Queen is. So, yeah, as far as DC is concerned, yeah. And as far as Marvel is concerned, well, even, even pre-Civil uh, War... Yeah, like the ones that actually bother with a secret identity. Yeah, no, most people aren't going to know who the fuck they are. But ironically enough, the whole secret identity thing is actually a lot less obvious and prevalent in Marvel if you actually pay attention to the big names. Like, the only folks are that are going to know... like. Like, here's the thing. The military knows who Bruce Banner is. Everyone knows who Tony Stark is. And the fact that he's Iron Man is no secret. Or at the very least, uh, is very quickly no longer a secret. You know, the whole thing about him being his... Uh, about Iron Man being Tony Stark's bodyguard. If I remember correctly, that was dropped fairly quickly. And then, as for Captain America, well... Shit. I mean... Jeez, you know? He's just Captain Steve Rogers. Never mind that, uh, you know, it's not much of a secret identity to begin with, considering that the freaking army would know. Now, where did I put my bag? Not to mention there's very little reason for him to keep that a secret. Especially in the modern day. But, yeah, DC, on the other hand, secret identities are a much bigger deal. Because you got a lot more characters who, if the fact that they, that they 
where costumed crime fighters got out, it had caused trouble. I mean, seriously, look at the entire Bat family. He's probably in the kitchen getting ready for the party. Most of them would be in deep shit. I mean, except, you know, Red Hood, because last I checked, Jason Todd is legally dead. Hey, Peter. Hey, guys. How's the game going? How's it look like it's going? I'm winning. Get this guy checked with the men should be. Well, the important thing is having fun. <laughs> I have a lot of fun whooping his ass. Language! No, no, no. Too rich for my blood. I'll leave you to it. Okay, I do have a comment to make about homeless shelters and the like. Any business that that allows potential employees to uh, uh, to use a homeless shelter as a mailing address is doing a good thing truly because i mean the first step like really the first step towards getting back on your feet is someone giving you a fucking chance if you're not going to give them a chance just because they don't have a permanent address what chance do they have you know so so Just dropping in. Hmm. So. Also, um, again, going from Marvel over to DC, a lot of folks don't seem to realize how much good Bruce Wayne, as Bruce Wayne, does for Gotham. The number of charities in the guy's name? Holy shit. So, yeah, he's not just using his money to go around beating the shit out of common petty criminals and uh, costumed psychopaths. He's actually using his money for grassroots support. So, meanwhile, Peter Parker is, you know, just, just an ordinary guy hey, doing what he so can right with not-so-ordinary abilities. That's hey, one of the reasons. Peter, mm. what a nice surprise. Need some help? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, there are some heavy no, boxes. No, no, no. I mean, I mean, I mean, not yet. I mean, I came to, uh, uh, uh I just, just wanted to talk. Huh? Okay. Hmm. Um, Peter, are you in trouble? Do you need money? No, no, I mean, I mean I'm a little behind on my rent, but... No, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm tough. Girl problems again, huh? What? Oh, that's great. I still wish you and MJ could work these out. She's a great girl. She is. The two of you would make some beautiful Whoa. babies. <laughs> uh, Peter. What is it? Come on, you can tell me. These past few years... You helping me through college and working here, sacrificing so much and asking for nothing. I just wish there were more people like you in the world. He's right. Five years ago, you walked in here and told me you were inspired by my mission to help others. Now it's you who inspires me. Thank you, man, forever. Just many more years of service. Thanks again for setting all this up. I just wish I could do more. Well, May's always told me if you help someone, you help everyone. Yeah, maybe we should send May to City Hall to have a word with the mayor. Hey, I gotta run. Um, thanks again for the party and everything. It really means it. Also, you should check it outside. Uh, also, another another thing about uh, about 
DC's superheroes and their secret identities. Demeanor is a big factor. Like, seriously, another reason why people don't, like, most people don't figure out that Bruce Wayne is Batman, despite how fucking expensive a lot of his gadgets are, and also the fact that, depending on the continuity, they are actually, they're actually uh, misappropriated Wayne tech, is the fact that in public, Bruce Wayne intentionally portrays himself as completely fucking incompetent. You know, binge drinking, late night partying, shit like that. Well, maybe not the binge drinking, but whatever. But it's all a... Uh, it is all an intentional effort to keep people from, from piecing it all together. Much the same way, uh, Clark Kent portrays himself as a mild-mannered, um, quite frankly, wuss... Because that way, if anyone does see him with his glasses off, a poor disguise, by the way, he has the better disguise of, no, that can't possibly be Superman. This guy's a pussy. So, and meanwhile, uh, Barry Allen in particular, as the Flash, is late to everything. <laughs> like, I shit you not, that is part of how he keeps people from figuring it out, is that he is intentionally late to everything everything because who would ever who would ever think that the guy late to everything is the fastest man alive honestly just saying But uh, like I was saying with uh, Marvel, um, but okay. So between DC and Marvel, guess who's wealthier? Uh, Batman, Voice Black Panther, or Iron Man? Hey, Go ahead, the guess. Alarm at the auction house holding Fisk's estate sale just tripped. Could you check it out quietly? I don't want to make a scene if it's nothing. Fisk estate sale sounds fun. <laughs> Wonder what the kingpin had hidden in his closets. Seriously, chat, go ahead and guess. Between, uh, so between Batman, Iron Man, and Black Panther, who do you think is the wealthiest? Calling all units. Robbery in progress. Suspects are armed. Reported location is Murray Hill. Where did everybody go? Oh, well. Sorry. Don't apologize. I just wanted to tell you how much what you said it meant to me. I always wonder if I'm doing right by you. Well, stop wondering. After losing my parents and Uncle Ben, there are so many times I would have fallen apart if not for you. Aww. Well, that works both ways, Peter. I just wanted to make sure you knew that. May, I... I don't know what to say. Oh, I think Mr. Lee needs my help. I should go. See you soon, dear. I love Aww. you. Love you too. Aww. Officers respond. Witness report of an active drug deal. Converge on Grand Central. Over. Jeez. I have to get all the way down there? To operate this thing? Oh, no, I have... Wait, did I reactivate this one? Yeah, I did. Okay. Oh, come on. Woo! Come on.
This is Oscorp Tower, I believe. Ooh! Another backpack. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, man. I meant to wash this gym shirt six years ago. Hey, you. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> That's nasty. <laughs> That's quite a nasty surprise. Well, there's another one just up ahead. Woo. Never finished this application for the coffee bean. Would have paid more than what I'm doing now. Hmm. Oh, hey, another one. This piece of the Shocker's original uniform showed me how to protect myself from his blasts. Of course, they always upgrade, don't they? Mm, no shit. Of course, there's the noir suit. That said, once I've found the last backpack, I will be switching to the homemade suit. So I guess I picked the right suit for the job. Sucker. They always look so cozy wrapped up like that. Uh. 
Should web him from above. Whoa, careful. Stay quiet now. Someone's coming. Hey, what is that? This totally belongs to... Don't move! Buddy, if I had a nickel for every don't move... Well then... Hey, MJ? Huh. What are you doing here? Same as you. Working. At least, it was. Oh, I, uh, think this is yours. Yeah, thanks. So, Robbie's got you covering a break-in for the bugle? Well, Robbie doesn't technically know I'm here. And it wasn't a break-in until a few minutes ago. Uh-huh. Let me explain. Oh, boy. So, in this continuity, she's on the other end of the camera. Nice! You know, as opposed to being a supermodel. Or an actress. Excuse me. Hi, Mary Jane Watson. I am covering the Fisk Estate sale. Hello. Craig said we do this tomorrow. I like to get a jump on things. Well, I don't. You'll have to come back tomorrow. Right. Also, great okay. performance by I'm sorry. Laura Bailey, I think. Pretty sure that's her. Hey, Craig. No, sorry, it just... It looks like we're gonna have to run something else on the cover. I don't know. Maybe the expressionist piece? You know what? I think I can make today work. Right, sure. You're here. No moment like the present. Thank you. Craig? Never mind. We're good. Let's get started. Huh. <laughs> That's great. Familiarize yourself with the items. I'll be waiting by the Baku statue when you're ready to begin. Can do. Hmm. I get why Peter does it, but I never totally loved the heroes hiding behind masks thing. Feels like part of being a hero is standing behind your actions, being willing to say, "Yeah, that was me." That's the sort of hero I want to be, at least. Hmm. Whoops. Midfisk saw himself in this. A great man willing to do what others wouldn't. Dude had no self-awareness. No shit. Uh, 
This cut Peter open like a pork sausage with this the first time they fought. Pete got away, collapsed in my yard half dead, and I had to steal my dad's car to drive him to the ER. The first of many Nurse MJ moments. Too many. Yeah, of course. The, of course, the hospital had to completely omit the fact that their patient was a costume superhero because, well, doctor patient privilege. Although, considering some of the shit that he has to do in his crime fighting is illegal. Yeah. Weren't they just in the news? At least they're not. At least they're not Cubans. Exporting those was illegal for the longest time. Might still be illegal, actually. And yet, guess what? Uh, guess what? Uh, the Kennedy administration. I think it was the Kennedy administration. Anyway, and uh, uh, or rather, some of their uh, rather. Guess what? Kennedy and some of his associates did just before the embargo. Bought a bunch of Cuban cigars. <laughs> what a bunch of hypocritical bullshit. Uh, also, the embargo wasn't because Cuba was communist. The embargo was because Fidel Castro essentially stole a bunch of American-owned businesses' Cuban properties out from under them. And nationalize them. And you do not fuck with American businesses. You don't. That's why the embargo happened. Sometimes I feel like the whole history of the world is just boys playing dress up, getting into fights. Wait, let's let's get another I can't get another look at that one. Damn. I don't know, and I'm I'm kind of surprised there's nothing here about any Kunoichi while we're on the subject of, uh, you know, boys versus girls and their contribution to history. So much tension between these two figures. But then again, they probably wouldn't be able to talk much about the Kunoichi in a T-rated game, considering uh, some of what they had to do for their clans. But I mean, when your body itself is a weapon in a different sense. Part of me wishes I could drop everything and travel the world. But life and work are here. Like, there are a few things more impressive than, uh, you know, than having a. Uh, certain set of skills that take advantage of something in an unorthodox fashion. Like, when you're good-looking and you're Vanessa? smart enough to use that, Vanessa? that's amazing. So. Oh, shit. Owned by Mussolini? Yeesh. Hmm. Let me know when you're ready to begin. Sounds good. I think I've scanned everything, so. Starting with the prize, a one of a kind Kaka Monbaku. Beautiful. It's a Mifune? Correct. Mr. Fisk has exceptional taste. Did you know him well before his arrest? In a professional context. I handled many of his sales. Let's move on, please. Now this exquisite piece exemplifies the traditional Tarashikomi puddle ink effect. The two Neo are so imposing. I can see why Fisk liked this piece. Definitely his style. He loved the duality. 
Destruction screams, but creation toils in silence. Was there ever anything irregular in any of the sales you handled for him? No. No, of, of course not. Not that I was aware of. Huh. Then there's the money laundering. Notice the intricate gold inlay on the ceremonial tea set. It's just a friend in the DA's office mentioned that Fisk used art sales to launder stolen goods. I'm sure I wouldn't know anything about that. Oh, I know. I was just wondering, now that he's arrested, if you had ever noticed anything strange. You know what? I'm actually running short of time. Why don't we grab the cover photo while we can? When I told my DA friend I was doing a piece on him, he mentioned... Uh, depends on which continuity. But in this one, at this point... Oh, no. This, this takes place pretty much eight years after Pete's career as Spider-Man began. So... Yeah, he's he, he started when he was roughly 15. So he and MJ are both about 23 at this point. So, yeah. 23. So, yeah. Like, they've already... Uh, uh, I don't know about MJ, but Pete's already gone to and graduated from ESU. So... And, as I said, MJ is now... Oh, hey, Mothy. How's it going, man? Oh, you missed... You might have missed a fun fact earlier. Uh, speaking of the initials MJ, did you all know that uh, Michael Jackson once tried to buy the rights to Spider-Man? So that he could play him in the movies. And then I commented about how I... <laughs> How I, <laughs> how I can just imagine a Michael Jackson rendition of the Spider-Man theme. <laughs> Funny as hell. <laughs> uh, anyway. Familiar. Just the photo, please. Stand right there. I mean, Marvel did eventually get desperate enough to sell uh, to sell the movie rights, and they sold them to Sony. <sighs> but hey, at least we got th uh, we got shit. What is it now? Uh, four, five different continuities of Spider-Man. So, I mean, yeah, we got. Yeah, we got Tobey Maguire, we got Andrew Garfield, Tom Holland in the MCU. Uh, we've also got, you know, the End of the Spider-Verse continuity. And whatever they're trying to work towards with Venom and Morbius. When the hell are we getting silver and black? Seriously, I want to see live-action Black Cat and Silver Sable, but I digress. Anyway... Regarding Fisk's activities, I don't think your readers would have any interest in. Damn it! Wait here, please. Wait, I recognize that statue. Gotta get a photo. That should be it. Craig, I'll call you back. My dear, I think it's time for you to go. Oh, um, could I use the restroom real quick? Fine. Follow me. Thank you. This... This is a really lovely space. It is. And this will be the last time you see it. The ladies is around the corner. Be quick. Of course. Be right back. Hello, Craig. Funny you should call. Because the reporter you sent is clearly not working the puff piece we agreed upon. No, she's here now. I've 
got to get into that back room. If that statue is what I think it is, this just turned into a huge story. What do you mean he had to be scheduled? Quiet. If she's not your reporter, who is she playing? Who is in my auction house? Oh my god. No, I do not trust you to fix this. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is have misinvestigative journalists arrested. And the second thing... He told me about this. Fisk used it to hide evidence. Why did the cops take it? I know this statue opens. But how? That's the Neo behind them. But it looks different. She certainly is cozy with Fisk. Something's in one of his hands. What is that? Come on. Statue can move. Most common pose is latent power. Mouth closed, left arm down, right palm facing forward. Hmm. No shit. These pieces move. Come on. Mouth closed, left arm down, right palm facing forward. Hmm. This is getting annoying. Yeah, she really should have packed gloves, but whatever. That's not right. Hmm. Oh, that one down there. Right? Got it. Norman Osborne. What is this? Devil's breath. What is devil's breath? 
Oh my god, they're going to drug the entire city with scopolamine. They can make them do anything. Excuse me, sir. You you can't be Most of you probably aren't gonna get that joke. Where's the statue? In, in, in there. I was on my way to the exit when I saw you. You're lucky to be alive. To go. Listen, whoever these masked guys are, they're after this file. But I'll never get it out of here while the place is swarming with them. Right. Okay, um, you hide back there, I take out the bad guys, you make a break when it's clear. Sounds like a plan. Good to see you, Pete. Yeah, you too. Not exactly how I pictured us meeting again, though. Funny. It's exactly how I pictured it. Aww. Did she change her perfume? Focus, Pete, focus. Clear these guys out before I push forward. <laughs> okay, Pete, I'm hidden near the front. Get the word and I'll make a break for it. We'll do. How about that file? What's in it that these guys want so bad? Notes on something called Devil's Breath. Fisk was hired to build a secret research lab for it. I'm not clear what Devil's Breath is, but it's Not much, Shook Fisk. We need to get you and that file out of here. Hang tight. There we go. Gotta stay silent. Okay, one was clear. Oh, shit. All of them. No, let me go. Oh, shit. Oh, not good. Who? Oof, nope.
Ow. Antique. I think I know someone who could help track down where this came from. A job for later. I just talked to Craig. You are not the reporter he was sending. You don't even work for Heritage Arts. Never said I did. Hi, Mary Jane Watson, Daily Bugle. You, you will not write a word of what you saw. For the here. record, what do you know about the file those masked men stole? That, I don't. What about the long history of stolen goods Fisk has laundered at this auction house? Your editor will be hearing from our attorney. Mix? Maybe the last six months never happened? In a moment, I'm going to have to step away, guys, because uh, the dogs need out. So, as soon as it lets me pause. Since when did Mix become Italian? No way. There we go. All right. I'll be back in a bit, guys. Need to take the dogs out. Microphone popping in three, two, one, pop.
All right, I'm back. Oof. Sorry about that. Like I said, dogs had to go to the bathroom, so. Yeah, but I'm still glad to make these fries. Totally. Best in city. So, how's the grind for Bugle? Mm. Well, yeah, well, I just got an all caps text from Robbie about my so-called antics tonight. So it looks like I'll be meeting with a legal team. Again. Uh, huh. As soon as he reads the article you're gonna write, guaranteed promotion. So, creepy mask, guys. What's your take? Just another night in the city. It's your take. <laughs> I feel like there's a bigger story there. Let's not make us all about business. How's, how's it going with you? Did, did you get that promotion? No, but we're on the cusp of something really big. You know Oscorp would hire you in a heartbeat, right? One phone call to hear. Sure, but Dr. Octavius' work will help millions of them. Right where I want it, right where I should be. Well, it sounds like it's more important than your other job. I've never heard you talk like that before. Almost. It's changed in six months. Why did you ask me here, Pete? It's one of the reasons why they changed it in the PS5 version. But it's also kind of jarring. I mean, you could be. You know, if, if that's what you wanted. There's just a lot of baggage here. I'm not sure, but... Is that so bad? I mean, baggage can carry good things, too. Like, uh... Like money and, uh, keys. Raspberry lip balm. Do you remember why we broke up? This is a trick question, isn't it? Saved by the siren. Talk to you later. Go. They broke up because she couldn't deal with the... Uh, <laughs> she couldn't deal with having a superhero as a partner. Love seeing you two <laughs> You always were my favorites. Uh, and that would be uh, Stan Lee's last cameo, I believe. I think he died mere months after. Get paroled? Yeah, well, I guess it didn't take. No worries. Herman's just a big cupcake. I'll have him back in Rikers by bedtime. Just had dinner with my ex after saving her from mass criminals. And now I'm gonna go beat up a maniac who uses shockwaves to rob people. What a perfectly normal life you have, Peter Parker. Oh yeah, uh, oh yeah, Yuzu. I, I, I would not put it past them to try that. Although, you can bet that they'd run into legal issues. Uh, in fact, uh, to use a different celebrity as an example, Robin Williams. Oh, his heirs will absolutely oppose any attempts to digitize his likeness, tooth and nail. Absolutely. And. They have every right to do so, unless a celebrity of some, uh, like, unless unless a celebrity explicitly legally gives their consent before their death to use their likeness post mortem, then it should ultimately be the decision of their heirs whether or not their likeness is used. So. Speaking of which, James Earl Jones has actually signed off on them uh, creating a digital likeness of his voice. And again, the fact that he actually took that initiative means that, yeah, they, uh, that they're okay to do that as long as they adhere to any terms he might have laid forth. So, again, as long as they adhere to those terms... His terms, good on them. Attention unit, report received of a narcotic sale in progress. Additional officers needed in Times Square, over. Ooh. Peter, 
I just want to make sure you haven't left any equipment you've built for your friend around the lab. It's no bother to me, but if the grant committee stops by again... Don't worry, Doc. I make a point not to leave anything there. But I know my friend appreciates you looking out for him. There's a lot of people who don't like him very much. That buffoon Jameson and his audience of sheep, please. The people who do great things in this world are those who don't let bullies like him stand in their way. People like us. You said a mouthful, Doc. Take care. Now let's see what's in this one. Ooh. This beat the hell out of me with these. I almost used them for evidence. Until MJ pointed out I was trespassing, so I'd probably end up in jail. Hmm. Typical Parker luck. Yup. Attention local unit. A break-in is reported. Uh, active near Times Square. Proceed with caution. Stupid sense of responsibility. Oh, he's done. Too easy. But actually let you break in. You'd be going away for a lot longer. <laughs> Not wrong. Oh, another backpack. Whoop. My underarm webs. I thought they might help me glide short distances, but they never really worked. Looked cool though. Hmm. Another one right here. Whoop. <sighs> Funny. My fear of heights didn't go away when I got my powers. I had to climb to the top of the Empire State to get over that. Nearby units advised. Witnesses cold in a mugging. Empire State University, the old alma mater, and holder of my student loans. Yeah. Every stupid mugger thinks he's the next Wilson Fisk. Well, they are going to jail, so. <laughs> Prototype to get me to license my likeness. Too bad there's no way to get paid without revealing my identity. 
Yeah, I'm sure that Tony Stark could hook you up, but whatever. Just saying. But then again, you know, in almost every continuity, Tony Stark is a jerk to some capacity. Oh! Ow. Ow. Ah! Jeez. Stuffing out of dealers is my anti drug. Hmm. Oh, this Scarlet Spider suit. Good old Ben Riley. Gotta split before the cops get here. Never know how they'll react to me. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Some of them love you because uh, you make their job easier. Others hate you because you make their job harder. I'm just saying, imagine how much fucking paperwork the cops, uh, the cops there have to deal with. Simply because the arrest was aided by a costume vigilante. <laughs> Just saying. All I did was save this kid's balloon from floating away, and he made me this. It's the little things that make it all worth it. Aww. That's adorable. Oh. Eh. Schultz isn't going anywhere. Nah, those are too far away. Let's see here. Yeah, no. Those are all too far away. Ooh. Woo! And there he is. Seriously? Whoa, here we go. Give it up. You're never gonna catch me. That's what you said last time. I don't want to hurt you. You can't slow me down. Wow, that's considerate. Whoop. Jesus. What's the money for, Herman? What do you care? Actually, I don't. Just trying to make for my conversation. I'm done talking! But this could be so much more rewarding if we connect with you! Gotcha. Now let's talk. I I'm done Well then. Definitely gonna need uh, this one. Boss fight. Honestly, Herman, why are you robbing again? You know the police are watching your every move. I mean, we all know you're kind of dumb, but I didn't think you were this dumb. You must be desperate, which means you're not just stealing for yourself. You must be working with someone, or for someone. You can tell me who it is now, or maybe punch it at you later. Your choice. Move, move, move! Good thing there's a sound cue as a tell. You know what, Herman? You 
like zero personality. But your suit is awesome. Can we talk design details? Maybe later. Good work, Spider-Man. Did you learn anything about his motive? I tried, but he's not very talkative. Plus, I think he hates me. You have that effect on a lot of people. <laughs> but you love me, right, Yuri? I tolerate you. <laughs> wow. Ouch. That might be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. <laughs> Looks like I got some free time. Maybe now's a good time to look into that mask. Oh, it's MJ. <clears throat> hey, MJ. You're up late. Just catching up on the news. Looks like you had quite an adventure with Shocker tonight. Yeah, he was unusually combative. Anyway, thanks again for dinner. What do I owe you? How about a favor? You still have that mask from the gallery? Yeah. I'm actually on my way to the Feast Center now to ask Martin Lee about it. Martin Lee? Why? He has a degree in art history. If anyone knows about the origins of that mask, he will. Just... Almost morning. Mr. Lee will be here soon. I could use a snack. Bagel. And of course he's... Yeah, of course, he's browsing not Twitter. Mr. Lee's usually in his office now. You guys holding up all right? This moron thinks I'm going to move in with my daughter. Hey, that'd be great. She hasn't asked, and she's not going to. I'm not going anywhere. You don't know that. Nobody does. Well, I'm not going anywhere. That's a promise. Aww. Sorry to bother you, Mr. Lee. I have a friend, Mary Jane. She's a reporter. She's doing a story on art imports, and she found this piece. She wanted an expert opinion on it, and I know you have a degree. And this might be the first time I actually get to use it. Huh. Let's see what you have. Interesting. Where did she find it? I'm really not sure. Well, what is it? A replica of an antique Chinese opera mask. I haven't seen one in years. This symbol here roughly translates to demon. Mm -hmm. And my father read me ghost stories with that mask and symbol in when I was young. Scared the hell out of me. Peter, listen. That mask, it's... It could be connected to dangerous people. Mary Jane might want to find a different story. Do you think she's in trouble? Why take the risk? Hmm. Hey. The symbol inside the mask means demon. It really spooked Mr. Lee. Never seen him like that. He even said you should drop the story. Fat chance. Do you think Mr. Lee knows more than he's letting on? 
No, I think he just had a weird flashback or something. I know his childhood was pretty traumatic. Yeah, makes sense. Demons, huh? Catchy name. Okay, gotta get writing. See you soon. Better and homeless. Well, that went about as well as I could have hoped. You know, the business community's really stepped up. Both job training and hiring. Well, most of them. Sad not to see Oscorp here. Yeah, no shit. Something when I check in the hallways. Where is hey, it? Good to see you. You too. Rather live on the street than ask my parents for help. Oh, well, there it is. I really hope that this statistic has improved since 2018. People don't realize how many kids are homeless. One in thirty. And too many shelters aren't equipped to care for them. It's horrible. Like I said, I really hope that statistic has improved since then. Got some time to kill before Doc needs me at the lab. Let's do a little spidey work out in the city. Let's see here. Let's head all the way south. Get some more backpacks. Oh, a side mission. Ah, sorry about that. Allergies are starting to act up. Again. Oh wow, we even get to see <laughs> the anchoring. Well, this one's high up. Harry's VIP card for the nightclub. Harry always tried to include me. That's awesome. I forgot these got added. Armored advanced suit, nice. Arachno Rider. The web suit, of course. The amazing suit. Ah, stealth suit from uh, Far From Home. The upgraded suit, neat. Future Foundation. <laughs> and the bombastic bag man oh 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 man you know what screw it I'm going around in this for a bit
quick recovery. Mr. Lee. He's just concerned. I was actually touched by how concerned. I knew he liked you. He admires how dedicated you are to helping others. I think you remind him of himself when he was younger. Both orphans, both so smart. Well, the admiration is mutual. You've got a good boss, man. I'll tell him you said so. Love you, Peter. My injured shoulder eventually healed. The bill took a lot longer to pay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, a bunch of others. Confucius Plaza, Williamson Bridge, Mott Street. Yeah, I can go back for those. There's another backpack. All units, armed robbery reported. Uh -huh. Hello? Peter. Dr. Octavius. Oh, hey, what's up? Last Corporal Texador is here for a come? I totally forgot. I mean, I, I didn't forget, forget. I just... I, I'll be there soon. <sighs> His tardiness is starting to become a pattern. Come on, Parker. You're better than this. How did I lose track of time? Boom. Boom. This will help me balance work and a personal life. If I ever find time to read it. <laughs> uh, uh, irony's a bitch. Wilson Fisk Science Prize trophy. And check. I couldn't turn it down without arousing suspicion, but no way was I gonna take his money. Even though we could have used it. 
I did accept the lifetime supply of backpacks, though. That explains a lot. <laughs> Oh, hey, there's one right down there. Perfect. Would you look at that? Half the crime tower's back up already. Woo! When spider cops on the job. Come hell or high water, the job gets... Nope, nope, nope. Nope. She'd never admit it, but the chief was warming up to spider cop. His casual disregard <laughs> for by the book thinking was a breath of fresh air. <laughs> She'd come around someday. <laughs> the infamous dumpling recipe. Should have come with step 10 and try not to burn everything in MJ's apartment. <laughs> Time for good hygiene. Gotta get it where I can. Shit. What's this one? That work is down, oh, of course. Oh. Oh, hey. Hmm. Used graphing calculator at a pawn shop. Stopped working in the middle of a trade exam. Eh, get what you pay for. Huh. Wow. That is some shit timing. 
thankfully, he's probably smart enough to compensate. Oh, hey, Wall Street. Good shot. Now. Eh. Woo! Level up. Ooh. Fresh skill point. Hmm. Oh shit. People know my parents died in a plane crash. I still can't tell anyone they were government agents. Wish I knew more about them. I wish anyone did. Aww. Recipe for wheat cakes. <laughs> I could never make it work on my own. And there's this right here. Oh, it's this. Hmm. ID badge from my semester as a teaching assistant. Didn't have time to stick with it, but I could definitely see teaching again someday. symbolizes my luck with relationships. Hmm. Hmm. Didn't you do that? Stay calm. Okay, people are safe. I should clear out so the professionals can get in. Mm. 
Now I'll swing just past it. Get this. Shooters. I had to improve the storage capacity a lot since then, but the basic design's still the same. Here we go. Ah, oh, shoulders. you want it to do and yes <laughs> hey hey what do you think you're doing this site's been declared a safety hazard stop that right now this is highly sensitive equipment that's it. I'm calling the mayor's office directly. Peter Parker, how the hell are you? Speak of the devil. Mr. Osborne. Oh, please. How long have we known each other? It's Mr. Mayor. <laughs> it's Norman. Norman! Norman, what do you think you're doing? The grant agreement you signed has strict safety provisions. This isn't your first violation. Those were excused. By me. You should have confiscated this equipment long ago. But... But, but I've had a breakthrough. <laughs> Thank you for your great service to our country. These folks will escort you to Oscorp Robotics, where you'll receive the latest in prosthetics. No charge. This isn't about safety infractions, is it? I'm trying to help you, Otto. You're free to continue your work in a secure environment at Oscorp. You always were the smartest guy in the room. You haven't changed a bit. Neither of you. Bastard. Peter, Harry will be coming back from Europe early next year. Maybe the two of you can start that business you always talk about. This is opportunity knocking. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. Uh, they, they didn't take everything. Maybe we could start over. Peter, there's no we. Without the grant from the city, I can no longer pay you. I need some time to think. If I were you, I'd look for a new job. Shit. Well, that's an awfully low point to be leaving on, but uh, we got. Uh, but I've got movie night with some family tonight, so. I think I'll be hopping off a bit early. Uh, let's see, who is online for me to raid? Come on, cooperate. I wish I could do something to help Doc. Maybe call Harry. Ask him to talk to his dad. No. Norman never listens to Harry. He even tried to kill funding for his research stations. Hey, one of those stations is nearby. 
Should see how they're doing while Harry's in Europe. There must be some way to help Doc. I'll think of something. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't look like any of my friends are on right now, so... Oh well. Well. I have tomorrow off. And uh, Sunday will be uh, Dark Cloud 2. So, until then, this is the Wilhelm Starton signing off.